Hey family, what's up? I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking my video. In today's video, I'm doing a wig show and tell on a wig that was sent to me from my first wig. The link to this wig will be in the description box with other links that you might be interested in. The wig comes in this silk baggie. They also sent two wig clips, a My First Wig edge band, a coupon code that says Cherish on it. That's good until June 1st. This cute pouch with a rat tail comb that come on the inside and two brown wig caps. I also got a slip with the wig order information on it. The details of this wig I'm show and telling will be in the description box. Here is a close up of the inside cap construction. It comes with a 13 by six lace frontal parting space. Behind the frontal, there are two combs with another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted a adjustable elastic band. This wig was made on a stretch fit material. The wig size I have is cap size two, which fits a 22.5 to a 23 inch head circumference. The hair texture is yakky. And this is how the wig comes straight out of the package. The length of this wig is 10 inches. Here is a close up of the hairline. It comes nicely pre-plucked and the knots come bleached. The parting space after you part the wig is nice as well. At first, I was going to do a right side part, but I wasn't feeling it, so I went back to a middle part. I went in with my hot comb on the highest temperature setting to help smooth and flatten my parting space. I went in and bumped the hair with my flat iron a little. I thought I recorded that part, but I didn't hit record. But y'all already know how to flat iron some hair. At the top, I had some flyaways. So I went in with my first wig flyaway tamer to help fight those frizzes. And then I go back in with my Andis hot comb to help melt the product into the hair. After I'm all done simply styling this wig, I go in with some eyebrow scissors and I just take the scissors, cut right along the hairline in little zigzag motions. After I cut off the lace in the front, there's some lace in the nape area. You could go ahead and cut that off as well. Here I am and it's time for the wig install. Underneath the wig, I went in and applied some Maybelline Fit Me powder. Y'all already know how I like to do it. I only applied to the spots that be showing, so that's the parting space and hairline. Right there in the back is where I hooked my adjustable straps. And with the elastic band on the inside, I hooked it on the first hook so it wouldn't be so tight on my head. Underneath the wig, I like to go in with brown stocking cap. So y'all already know I got my brown stocking cap on.
The hairline on the lace is a little longer than my hairline, so I'm gonna go in and cut off some of the air tabs. The lace is coming off a little too light on my skin still, so I'm gonna take some of that NARS foundation, pump a little bit of it onto that paper towel, then take a brush, smudge some of the product off onto the paper towel, and then right, right, ugh, can't get it together. Wipe the rest of the product onto the hairline of the lace. Next up, I'm going to take the Wig Dealer Melting Spray and spray one layer of this from my temple down to the air tab. I spray one layer for the wig show and tell. If I was to wear this wig outside, I would spray two layers. First, I will put the first layer on my skin, blow dry until it turns tacky, then lay the lace on that layer, then go in and spray another layer on top of the lace. But like I said, because this is a wig show and tell, I don't want the wig to be stuck to my head. I just want to show you guys what this wig looked like from my first wig for anybody that's curious. Now to help my parting space look a little bit more like scalp, I'm gonna go in again with that Maybelline Fit Me powder and apply some of that powder on top of the lace. Come through, Bobby Anna. Yes, okay. This is a nice, cute, simple bob. I had to switch spots because the sun was going down, and I wanted you guys to see the style and quality of this wig. Yes. You could definitely see the nice yaki texture on this wig. One thing I love about yaki textures is it's not as frizzy as silky hair. So that is a nice plus. To me, it helps the wig look way more natural. I love how this wig have a nice flow to it. The cut on this wig come really nice as well. And one thing I love about my first wigs is that they're really beginner friendly. As you guys saw, the knots came pre-bleached. The hairline came lightly pre-plucked. The wig comes pre-styled. You could go in and touch it up if you need to, but if you do go in and touch it up, you don't have to do too much work to touch it up like some other wigs that's like made in China where the hairline comes really dense. You gotta go in and bleach the other knots yourself. It's really nice. The cut on the wig is nice as well. I do peep in the back like mm, by my nape area could use a little bit of trimming, but it's really not that bad to me in my opinion. I love how this wig look and feels realistic. And if you want, once you get the lace to match your skin, you could put the wig behind your ears. So if you don't want the wig all in your face or if the wind getting crazy with you, you could just <laughs> swoop it behind your ear. Really cute. Nice for this hot ass weather these days. It's been really hot in New York. So this really comes in clutch. 
really cute i love how when i was styling the wig i got zero tangling and as for shedding shedding was really on the low side very very low and i love the fact that i didn't have to go in and customize anything i didn't have to pluck the hairline i didn't have to touch anything up like i said the only thing i would touch up with this wig is maybe the cut in the nape area but that's like really about it I also really love how on the My First Wig website, their wigs come in different size options. So it's not just one size fits all. You could get your size adjusted to your head size. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch and I'll see you guys later.